Hey guys, today we will just speak fast about how we can remove debugger detections um, or VM detections that works uh, with the window name. So for example, here is a large list of VMs, um, including, uh, for example, VMware, um, VirtualBox, Hyper-V, etc. So what you're going to do is just you have this large list. OK, so what you're going to do is just scroll down and take like somewhere here, double click. And then it will probably look like this for you. So what you're going to do is just scroll down. Now you can just knob everything out, but this is huge. So now we need to understand how uh, it is checking this. So if we scroll down, we see here a loop. So this loop right here pushes every um, object into a structure using this call right here so every um window name right here is basically pushed to a structure and then uh we have this loop right here and this right here is the call that is actually crashing the program and uh, checking it so what we do is we don't just knob everything out we just knob this right here okay so we just take this and then we just knob this out now we can knob it or we just go inside and place here return function. This is useful if it is used somewhere else in the program. And you can check it by just using right here the references and you see it is used by uh, different functions. So if you want to avoid that um, your program is being crashed, you can just set a return instruction right here. So usually here is the function start and here is the function end ending with a return but we can just end it pretty early by placing a return instruction at the start of the function so we don't execute anything so yeah that's basically it you can uh, you don't need to knob it anymore because we will just jump into the function and then we just return without anything happening so yeah that's it um Pretty useful if you uh, got loaders that are working against VMs manually and not through VM Protect. So yeah, this was everything for today. Hope you have a nice day and see ya.